Hello, traders. John at StockBookie.com. Today, we're looking at REGN on the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. Let's go right into the 10 minute, though. I want to show you, I got, we had a great trade here today, guys. Great technicals. This is textbook stuff, guys. So, we have a Fibonacci from the high over here to the low over there. We have the 618750 gap fill, high pivot. You have a couple more high pivots here, too. So, you have more re really good resistance. And when you start getting stretched from the 20 MA, even on this time frame, you know it might snap back and do this. It is REGN or Regenerin. It could go higher, but as a um, as a day trader, you got to get interested in this thing up here. If it goes up a little bit, I think uh, 544 was the next area of resistance. Let's see. Yeah, 544 right in that area. So, but great trade. Look at that. So it comes back in, topping tail on the, on the intraday basis. This is a 10-minute chart. Great sideways action comes in. Great sideways action comes down. Closes at the low with the help from the SPY. The IWM closing at the low. And the Q closing at the low. The DIA closing at the low. You get it. Apple closes at the low. Um, what else closes at the low? NVIDIA, where'd that close at the low? You know, BA at the low. Tesla at the low. Win at the low. X at the low, AMD at the low. So watch for that, guys. It's a market trade. If the big indexes come in, these are all going lower. So if you're still bullish on uh, REGN, let me give you some areas. This was big up here, the 529.55. That was like a brick wall, guys. So far, it's working. So are a little bit extended on the daily, just a little. More on the monthly and the weekly, which we'll go into next. But good support down in here around 488 to 500 area. And then the 485 to two. 20 ma but this thing comes right down it could hit this i for me i'm short right now from the 518 area as a swing trade we did a day trade today we're already in and out of that one but we also have a swing trade from 518 so we're, we're doing pretty good on that one we get another 20 on that we'll probably sell half i'm, lo I'm looking right here guys 450 I'll, I'll take it all off the table right here maybe hold a quarter because it, it, it could go to the 200 depending on the market's conditions. The market's going down or up or whatever. Everything's a market trade on this stuff. But right now, guys, if you are bullish, you got to get back up here or at least stay in this chop zone. Stay above the 20 MA and keep going sideways and then possibly a pop. You got to get back through the 543.59 uh, area, then higher prices. So you got to watch for that. But right now, looking a little bit ugly, holding the 500 area. Let's see what happens with the overall markets because, again, it's going to be a market trade. Weekly chart. Weekly chart, same thing. Getting extended, though. 418 is the 20 MA. Remember, this is like the ocean. This is the shore. This is the ocean. It's got to come back in. A little bit bigger time frame. Takes a little bit longer unless you have certain conditions. Bullish, you got to get above this area. And you know, you could probably go to the 592.57 up in this area, 600. If the markets stay buoyant and quiet and stuff, this thing could probably shoot up on news. The markets are starting to pull back a little bit. This one will fall because, you know, you, you went from 362 to almost 550, guys. So it, it, you're going to get somewhat of a pullback. How deep it is, we're, we're going to find out. Again, bullish, you got to get above the highs, keep going. Bearish, it just kind of chops, chops, and then possibly falls. Monthly chart, though. It's like all the high flyers we play, guys. Getting stretched from the 20. You're up into this area. Big area, though, 530. Pretty much hit it. Came right back, guys. So so that's big on the monthly, too. We, we got follow through. It looks like we're going to close above this candle and confirm above this area. And, and kind of a breakout. But could this be the fake out here? And then comes right back in and kisses this. This is a big bearish pattern, just like the IBB. I mean, it's trying to... Trying to disconnect that bearish pattern. But remember, too, it's the last index is the run. is the biotechs and oil, of course, too. they got to get these going. One last shot. We just think yeah, you're, you're a hedge fund or a prop trader, and you just took this thing from 350 to 500. You're done. You're already out. You're out at 500, 525. Actually, I'd be out even earlier than that. From 335, I would have been out at, at, at 435. I would have been done. Maybe, maybe a quarter position run a little bit more. But then, boom, we're short right here. Let's take it the other way. Who cares? All right, guys, that's going to be it for today, though. If you like these videos, go to stockbookie.com, sign up. It's free. And you get uh, email alerts of videos like this, some live streaming sessions, uh, trade ideas, a little bit of education, and uh, a lot of fun, guys. We're just trying to make money in these markets, and uh, hopefully uh, we can do that here at stockbookie.com. 
All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.